What I learned from Carlos Castaneda's books. Our picture of the world determines what we observe. It determines which sides of the reality we pay attention to and how we unify our observations to a picture of the whole. It tells what exists and what not and so determines how we interpret our observations. Castaneda uses the description of to the description of this, the concept of the location of the assembly point, by which he means the way in which we collect our sensory perceptions to a whole. The concept is though wider and includes at least the following things. 1. How the observations are obs assembled to form a whole. I imagine that I know that my life will end after two or three seconds and that those seconds are lengthened to last hours or even years. I am without the possibility to communicate with other people. All the meanings connected to navigating in the ordinary everyday world disappear and there are new personal meanings born. Based on this I get grasp of how different would be the world where the ways of interpretation accepted by the society would be very different from ours. 2. Which sides of the world we pay attention to? Examples. My first drawing class. A white pyramid and a ball on a white table. The teacher commands me to describe the different shades of white, but I cannot see them. I try some time and succeed as last. I turn my head and the whole world is full of lights and shadows which I have never before seen. As a beginner on a dancing course I notice that the way that I used to conceive my body isn't enough. I need to learn a totally new language in which there's no room for words. 3. Momentary picture of the world. 4. Dominant mood. Intellect, feelings, concentrating on the senses, etc. An example. Mathematics news. I'm reading for an examination in the last evening just before I go to sleep. In the morning I wake up in the examination trying to prove mathematical things. I get out and the whole world is bright and clearly seen, but I cannot get along with people like usual. I answer only yes and no. Wait for more information, claims to judge. 5. In the language of my own scientific picture of the world, the place of the assembly point tells the momentary mode of the human brain, which mind process is both conscious and unconscious, from simple perceptions to abstract thinking, are happening at each moment. Making the way to perceive a habitual one. Our picture of the world is based on us always seeing things as the, in the same way. If our way to sense would change all the time, we would have no means to figure out what the world is like. So we have to fix the assembly point in order to understand the world. Inner speech is a way to do that. A child does not yet have a habitual way to see the world. Her assembly point moves freely. His adult who associates with the child teaches him to how to conceive the world. The adult teaches the child to talk to oneself and that inner talk fixes the assembly point, the way to sense. When we are adults, our picture of the world has become so habitual that we cannot imagine it being just one of very many possible ways to perceive the reality. An example. A child learns just the language which is spoken around the child. An adult recognizes the phonemes of one's mother tongue, but not necessarily those of foreign tongues. If a human being manages to stop one's inner speech, the assembly point gets freed and one can sense in extraordinary ways.